Yees, yay, hell yeah, I'm doing videologs. My first videolog. I've been working on this video for days, and I'm super excited to upload it and check your reactions to it. I'm sure you'll love this new type of content, and I have many more videos like this in my mind. Also I have many other surprises to tell you. This is a new VR funny era, new projects, new videos, new topics, new everything. I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to show you all. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A Let's calm down. All right, the first surprise. Soon I will show you my secondary YouTube channel. In it I'm going to upload my own clips compilations videos, all the videologs, interviews, lewd stuff. I want to do everything as quickly as possible, but my time is very limited. I hope I can finish it all soon. Don't forget to write in the comments any other topics that you want to see on the channel. I read all the comments. Oh, and at the end of all the video logs I'm going to answer the most interesting questions from the previous videos. Let's go, this week has been one of the best weeks for the virtual reality community, something very important and unprecedented has happened. This is going to make the whole future change, and yes, I'm talking about everyone knows, a virtual girl in a webcam portal. What? Do you mean an I'm girls? Her name is Melody, a 3D avatar that has started to stream on Chatterbait. This created controversy on Twitter and among all the streamers who were already regular users of that platform. Although, this virtual avatar's making content is nothing new. One of the precursors of content creation as a virtual avatar was Kazuna AI. This character started uploading videos on YouTube in November 2016, so the term VTuber is not new at all. I'm sure everyone of you knows who Kazuna AI is. Everyone who loves virtual reality knows it. Everyone loves virtual anime girls. Except those who hates them. There are many people who are against virtual avatars as entertainment. I think this comes from far away. I have been working on audiovisual jobs for several years, there is a large percentage of people who do not appreciate our work, simply because it is not something real and tangible. Many people do not know the hard work behind any audiovisual production, large or small. The perfect example is Kazuna AI. Anyone who knows a minimum of 3D art, knows how complex it is to create a fluid and natural 3D character. Behind Kazuna there is a lot of work made by marketing experts, 3D specialists, animation, rendering, etc. Not forgetting that they have to produce the songs Kazuna sings, but for some people, if it's not real, it's not good. You know what? A lot of people are not able to analyze and understand the large amount of work behind Kazuna. This can be extrapolated to any audiovisual production. Every video, photography, movie, song, picture has immense work by artists, but today's society is not able to understand it. I have been working in the audiovisual sector for about six years. I cannot count all the hours I have dedicated to my projects. A single daily VR chat compilation video takes at least four hours if I have good clips, if not, much more time. This videolog is taking me much longer, just in writing it already took 4 hours, editing will take me 5 more hours, with this I want you to understand you that there is not magic button that produces videos, photographs, music, streams or movies, if you have it, please send me. Returning to the main topic, when all the VR stuff started, the technology needed to have virtual avatars dates back to 1991. The Sim Graphics Company invented V-Actor, a software that together with sensors, was able to animate virtual characters in real-time. This software was used to animate a 3D Mario model in real-time. But virtual reality was still in diapers, it was the beginning. Until in 2011 appeared what is considered the first virtual YouTuber, Ami Yamato. Ami Yamato is a bit peculiar as Duber. She creates content by mixing virtual reality with the real environment. I admire the creator of Ami Yamato, the quality of the 3D animations, the light and especially the modeling of this character is impressive. As you can see it is very natural and even seems real. It is amazing that someone in 2011 was able to do this alone, I am very impressed with Ami Yamato, hello I am funny in Japan, yes, this is Japan, but the true star of the virtual world on YouTube is Kazuna AI. Her fans call her AI Chan, this virtual YouTuber showed themselves in October 2016. She is like a regular YouTuber, but with a virtual character. 
she started uploading videologs, later opened a secondary channel dedicated to gamma plays, and she achieved 200,000 subscribers in a few months. But, this is not the best she did, beating 1 million subscribers in 10 months, Kazuna continued to expand her content, creating video clips and music, becoming so famous that she recorded television advertising too, did you know about Fiji panties? VG Panties cures everything, my opinion about using virtual avatars to create content on the internet is very positive. Many people are unable to record themselves and post such videos on YouTube, Twitch or create a personal account on Twitter. That is why virtual avatars are a very important tool to socialize for people with social problem or for very embarrassing people, even so, I know that VR chat helps many people to socialize, but I think that many of those people should face their fears and try to socialize in the real world. I know it is very complicated, I know for many other people it is impossible, but for those who could do it but do not do it for simple fear or for being lazy, please, try it. I'm sure many of you can. At this point many will want to know what do you need to play VR chat or create content with virtual reality. I would like to mention a super tool for it. Suva is an application created by Garibo, it is one of the most important applications to be able to have your own virtual avatar on the screen while you play video games or you are simply on stream doing anything. It is a very powerful tool and it works in an amazing way. But, we will talk about all of this in depth in the next video log. We are going to compare all the different headsets at the market for playing VR chat and other virtual reality games. Also I'm going to show you tools to create your own virtual content. As promised, I'm going to answer three interesting questions from the previous videolog, you ludies. Why do you ask lewd stuff? The first question is asked by Architect7, he asks me if I am going to do merchandise or body pillows. My merchandise is at my Twitch channel, there are a lot of stuff. Mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, stickers. Even if you want my body pillows simply join my Discord and there you will have all the information. Fast. There are a few body pillows left, they are limited edition, run you fucker. The second question is from Devman. He asks me what it feels like to be one of the most iconic VR characters. I'm sorry to tell you that I'm not iconic at all. Also a lot of people ask me for a picture or just stop me to say me they love my videos while I'm playing VR chat. I feel very happy when this happens. Seeing you so excited about the videos is the energy I need to keep working hard. But I'm not as iconic as you think, I'm simply a content creator in our community, also super shy, and a wholesome fox. The third question is asked by Mithil Rashi. He asks me what I think about the VR culture. I think the answer to this question is this video. I think that being what you want to be in the virtual world is wonderful. You can be an amazing action superhero, you can be the animal you love most in the world, or the anime character you adore. The virtual world is endless and infinite, I hope you liked the video, if you want to support me check the link of my Patreon in the description, I would also thank you very much if you join our Discord and participate in it, I try to talk with you every day in Discord, and there is always wonderful people to talk with, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it, I enjoyed a lot doing it. That's why, next week I'm going to show you the best gear for VR, have a great day. I love you. Are you seriously watching porn by yourself? No! I'm with the science team! <laughs>